So here I am. I'm selling my nightclub, which is worth 925,000, which means we'll lose roughly 90,000. Still, we're on par, except for that bonus. We're looking at about the same, the same amount of money as the tequila I couldn't steal in the one video. Just <sighs> still don't know if I'm going to cancel that and, uh, and never do it again. Or try try again with something else when I'm feeling. What's the word I'm looking for? Spicy. There you go. If I'm feeling spicy, then you will do that. Whew. That was scary. It was starting to lock up near the end of that. Don't know why. Probably should give it a break. The break is a thing. Might not though. Great, okay. Looks like you're done here. I will fiddle the accounts and send you the money. Just another day in the life of nightclub maven, Tony Prince. I'm back in the point where I need to really review all my garages and see where I can make some space. I don't think I have anything. But I'm lazy enough to get there. Hey, what's up? With the limo. One limo coming up. The limo placement has been less than ideal. And I'll just let it go. Uh, keeper, keeper. That was the one I used to. This is the the bug I used to get the uh, the very rare unbodied sand rail. So obvious keeper. And this, well, I mean, look at it. I mean, just look at it. That difficult to get. Playing on. Fixing one up with multiple colors. I never re remember which one it's going to be, whether it's this one or the other one. I'm going to do something with it. That's a project for later on. Obvious keeper. Camacho is the Camacho. So, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So, this is full. And I don't want to give up the apartment. So, so much for that. Definitely a limo ride. Well, I do some organizing here in the office. That's a, that's a good way to do that. We'll leave it on record. Just so that... In case the guy does something weird. I mean, I almost... I think I might have hit the record too Hi, late. And what do you need? We got hit by a train the one time. Yep, coming from sure. one place to another. So, always worth looking into. Start hurry, of course.
Okay. Let's take a hard look in here. Okay, we've got my original elegy, which, I mean, it's off the top pace, but I mean, it is, you know, I've had so much history with this car, I can never get rid of it. It's been painted different ways. I'm making it another paint job. That's a possibility. Same thing with my Entity XF. That's still, I mean, I just, I just did well with some racing with that the other day, so I mean, that's... Phoenix, I think I'm going to change up the uh, the paint job on this one too. I'm going to set the uh, the crew chrome. I'm going to yeah, maybe do that rolled silver and ultra blue kind of thing with it. Something along those lines. This is still probably my still my go-to as far as muscle car racers are concerned. I still do like the. Saber Turbo Custom. I have it in kind of a Tron livery here. That's how long I've had this thing. So we'll see. We'll see if we, if we, if we get a, a fresh paint job on that at some point. Obviously, you got to have an Omnis. That's that's one of the basics for you know participating in Bruffy streams. I would say I might change the back on it to give it a little bit less. Uh, you go with the, the the spoiler delete, which gives you just as much downforce because Rockstar Logic. And, but it would, might take a little bit of the weight off the rear end so that it's a little more balanced. So we might do that. Plus, I might change it to a, to a green instead of the, the crew blue. I'm not sure on that, though. And Duke of Death. You know, the Duke of Death really is an obsolete kind of car. It's a freebie, I believe, except for the updates. I could probably do without the Duke of Death. That might be something that gets uh, liberated. So I can get more parking. Obviously, you know, this is one of those, it's a good car that you want to hang on to. You know, good for rallying, almost a little too good for rallying. Certainly not getting rid of Wheeljack. This, this was a complete pain the buns to get. You know, the whole you know, wait on the side of a mountain and shoot people before they drive it off the cliff. No, we're not, not getting rid of that. And I like my Slogan GT. So I mean, it's, it's just, look at it. Look at it. This is, I have a lot of Dukes of Death, though, so this might be... Let's drive it. Drive it and we'll see where we end up. You have to go through the uh, the office too. You just go through the office and really... Garage 1. Kind of a speed tour of all the garages. Okay, let's use the, the tools that we have here. The Deviant, personal favorite. Especially with that paint job. Torero, obviously, obviously, yeah, we're keeping... Now that, Duke of Death, that fits deliveries of stuff. I might just keep that one. I like the one that kind of matches all these these Wheeled Warriors painted cars. The Karuma Armor, obviously a keep. Shotaro, I, want, I was thinking of maybe painting the Shotaro up in similar fashion to these with the white and gold but then again there's also the option of going with that rolled silver and ultra blue kind of shark look to it all these these are these are all keepers all they all reference cars from family my family history of cars and cars I've driven and stuff like that clique obviously they keep in karma dreams the that's another car there was a, a black uh De Tommaso Pantera, that used to be my neighborhood growing up, so I'm keeping that one. That's like my Uncle Bill's gold car. There's um, a Romero hearse painted up in the livery of the Jacob Davis funeral home. That's my wife's van. That's my wife's old van, dude it up. There's been the tale of the two vans. That's a story for another day. 
And that's that. So nothing, yeah, nothing getting rid of anything here. Going off his garage. Deuce. Got yourself a Yosemite. I mean, it is an extra Strongberg, but it was a free Strongberg, so I'm not getting any money back off that. I could get rid of it if, um, yeah, if I really just, you know, the problem with that is to replace it. If I ever just wanted another Stromberg, it'd be so expensive. So I'm not really planning on getting rid of the lemonade Stromberg. Scramjet, obviously, Vigilante, Oppressor, Deluxo. I live in the Deluxo. The Futo, that's the um, initial D Futo. This is, this is my movie floor. So you got the initial D Futo, the, um, the Mirthmobile, the car from another 48 hours. The family truckster, the General Lee-ish kind of thing. Then you got, you know, the Mystery Machine and the Gang Burrito, which still triggers me because, you know, now they say the top half of the A-Team is gray, and I don't remember it that way because maybe TVs weren't all that good and you couldn't tell from gray on the top that was kind of black. All right, anyway. The Easter Egg Special... The uh, St. Patty's Day special, the Valentine's Day special, the original Christmas special, the uh, the Halloween specials, and of course Tommy Versetti's uh, custom turbo there. So that's yeah, we're keeping all that. That's this is a lot of these cars are just here to decorate my garage, and if they make me happy. Now this is the Top Gear. Grand Tour, Hoovy's Garage. There's only, I think, one Hoovy's Garage car in here. But let's let's go over it. Largely a lot of my supercars. So you got this, the Cyclone. The that that this was this is painted up to mimic as closely as possible the one that Richard Hammond destroyed. Uh, Furia, that's really pretty. I'm I'm really happy with that neon. The way the paint came out on that. Same with the Vigilant. These two cars are just beautiful. Got my FNJ, which is from the one, uh, I think it's a Grand Tour special where he drove it. That that red uh, F, that red uh, Ford GT actually probably cruised relatively close to me as he went through Pennsylvania. Although I didn't really focus on that and all that much. Faggio Mod from the Vietnam uh, special. Reaper. Of course, these are all just, you know, Lamborghinis. And you know, here, here's the trifecta from the first Grand Tour. As close as I can make it. Couldn't get the racing stripes because the 811 has no liveries whatsoever. What are you doing with Rockstar? The Emirates, of course. The dubs the 6x6, another famous GTA thing. Then you got the Super Diamond, which is, you know, an, an homage to the purple Rolls Royce that uh, Tyler Hoover had for a while on Hoovy's Garage. That, as I kept one buggy from the, 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 uh, the was it Rwanda? We were driving across the desert in buggies. I can't can't remember. I kept one buggy when I had to reduce things last time. Of course, you need to have a Turismo Classic. You need to have a Nero. You need to have a Chebarek. You know, I you know the Chebarek is just that's just a favorite car. I might I might again take a close look at the paint job on this, and I might get rid of the chrome on it. That's a chrome crew, believe it or not. It's just predominantly crew on that car. But we can maybe we'll leave it as it is. I do like it. The FCR 1000 Custom, that's a, a Richard Hammond homage for the kind of bikes he likes to have. I got that for free, as I recall, so what the heck. And that, there you have it. Not getting any, anything from these garages. Okay, let's head up to this apartment here. To this garage. Run? Yeah, we're running. We run. Oh, now we hit the bottom button again. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's doing this again. Okay, it looks like it's the win button that you have to not bump. Okay. Just got this, so I'm not getting rid of it. See, that's one of the, the new paint schemes I'm really falling in love with. I could get rid of these this Dukes. Um, these are the... The Mario and Luigi cars that I came up with. Mario and Luigi, Luigi. I wouldn't want to. I mean, it's just drag radials. Duke's wheels on them. I mean, it's just 
This is still, you know, one of the, really one of the top speed sports cars from back in the old days. And if you're in a, an actual sedans race, that's what you'd take. The Mario. It's a me, a Mario. General Grant, yeah, that was just a, a vision of a car from my youth. So, why not keep that one? Sorry, I love a bullet. I know it's not the greatest car in the world, but I do love a bullet. Especially with the right paint job on it. It's just just good. Blista, I've won so many races with this Blista. Don't even, we're not even going to, this, this one stays. This is one of my original cars. Grabbed it off the street. Painted it this wonderful kind of blackish kind. I forget if it's a carbon black. Some back when I thought the Sentinel must be the fastest because it's the most expensive coupe. Still keeping that. And this, of course, I could let this get you know go, but this is there's a whole thing here is that the the fantasy here is, is that I picked up and restored the Death Fred you know, buffalo, so, because you, you don't actually ever get to see his license plate because it gets hit too early. So I could completely claim that this is the actual death Fred buffalo dragged off the side of the mountain, brought to a Los Santos Customs, brought back to life, and now it's staying right here. So, in case you're wondering, that's what's going on there. So, yeah, nothing, nothing really I'm hot to get rid of here. No. Okay, let's take a look here. Okay, this is the absolute latest car that I've gotten. Oh, look at that paint job. That is just too beautiful. Well, this is kind of a double homage, because I actually do have a Matchbox car someplace that, you know, that really, really... Ha it has some livery on it, just you can't get liveries on it. But th the paint is pretty close on this. And it's kind of along the lines of... Uh, Bruffy 1322's uh, Monroe before he lost all of his cars because, oh my goodness, he sold the garage. So, eh. But, I say I have this matchbox. Technically speaking, it is one of my sons, but it is something I looked at and said, hey, it's like Bruffy. So, it's one of those things. Do I need both? They have nearly the same performance. These two trucks here. But one's much bigger and weirder than the other one, and I, I kind of like them both. So, not getting rid of that. This one, maybe will be the one I keep stock as we got it. Maybe we'll modify the one up in the hills. The Lego truck. The Lego truck, I, I know I got this on some kind of amazing deal, and it looks like it's made out of Lego bricks, and it's nearly useless, but... And there's no reason you take out... A menacer when you have an insurgent pickup custom. You just wouldn't. But we have it, and it looks cool here, and I like it. This has history. This was a car I had when I was trying very unsuccessfully to get the the silver and the gold dubsta to uh, to spawn. And I ended up just keeping one I think I think it was yeah, I forget what color it was when I grabbed it. There's a video. And I just said, Alright, we're gonna make it half Chrome and have gold, and that's why I'm going to have them. I couldn't have the other ones, and it's nice. I like it. I'm going to keep that just because of the memories. This is a com is a modified Hummer here. It's a Patriot. I'm keeping this because if they ever fix the bug that strips off all the accessories whenever you bring a Hummer into Los Santos Customs, maybe you won't be able to get rid of all the accessories. So this is a completely stripped clean Hummer. Which I've done in Chrome Crew, so that it even has another glitch to it. This is my original Patriot, which uh, I had, you know, my first experiments with the custom paint job. I was trying to go for kind of a mix of like an orangey root beer kind of look here. It ended up kind of looking a little bit like I was trying to go for a Bruffy Orange, but I hadn't actually seen any of Bruffy when I had this. So the nice thing about this is it has lights. It has the side pipes. If you bring this into Los Santos Customs, they disappear. And you can't get them back. Because they took these lights off to put the, the brick kind of non-functional LED lights on them. And so this isn't a car you can get anymore. Not insured. It's insured. You can, you can see that. It's technically insured. So, I mean, this is like an impossibility. So we're, we're definitely not getting rid of that car. This one's not insured. Why? Because I'll lose... 
the uh, the front bumper on it so it's you know again I have it in here it's not insured if they ever fix the glitch I'll get it insured but this is off the road 100% stock uninsured so that's my that's my Patriot collection there they have they have a couple over on Rusty Jack too this is another Duke of Death which I could say well it's another Duke of Death but look at this is another one I love the paint love the uh, Kind of the red over gold that you get here. It's just that I like that car. And, you know, truth be told, I mean, even this one. This is very fast and furious, isn't it? It's just a very... This this would perfectly... Dom would love this. I mean, you can't... Just for that reason alone. That's. I'm convinced they put uh, they put that wheelie in here just for Fast and the Furious, folks. That's just that's all there is to it. Okay, the penthouse garage. I don't think there's any room in here either. And here's the thing about the penthouse garage: not only does it have very useful and nice cars. I mean, this is my main racer. Okay. The Devestate, I kept the, the 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 rear end stock, so it's not really a racing kind of thing. I could I could fix that up a little. Bit. I have allowed myself some some leeway with the spoilers. Like on this Krieger, I believe I took the bat fins off of it just so it would handle properly. Um, this was one of those ones where it's like on mystery or something like that. I just got a black Dodge. I could sell the black Dodge probably. But all of these cars, here's the freebie that you get. I've kept that as it was originally. I, I try to keep anything I win. Like, hey, this is a unique thing. It's how you want it. That's exactly how that came to me. I, you know, and some of them are duplicates. I mean, I theoretically I could put... I could mod the spoiler on this so that it's fully raceable and do whatever I want with it. And then I could get rid of my other schlagen. But I don't... I'm not real fun. Like, I don't mind the paint on that. I kind of like it, but I like the green one. Same with this. I mean, it's... It is a classic dark purpley kind of Dodge kind of car, but... Ah, well. Again, very binary bits there. I just realized... I was up in Paleto. I should have checked. The facility. The crappiest facility ever. Up. Oh my goodness, this is what they're giving away? Well, it's a peyote. I thought they were giving away... Someone got confused. I thought they were giving away... Um, one of the Cadillacs. The Mananas. That's not a banana. That's a peyote custom. Did I misread that somewhere? Was I watching it too? Not closely? Alright, well... It's a beautiful paint job, I have to admit. I have no parking, so I can't even spin the wheel, even though I can spin the wheel. Luxury, sophistication, fun. The Diamond Casino and Resort is your place. Nah, it is nice. I gotta admit. We'll do the full 360 on it at some other point here. But, um... Let me use... Little Tom Collins Guest Services Polito Bay action here. Is he driving me personal? He he disappeared. Okay. Ah, uh, it's raining. Okay, give me my wheels. Whee! Not bad for teleportation. There you go. We'll give it that little bit of a scrape on the bumper. What the heck is this? 
little dot. Oh my goodness. It's this guy again? Well, don't I already have his key? Will there be something else in the drawer? Or do we just get $7,007 from me? Now we just get cash? I'm sorry, I missed right. I don't have the time for that. I'm doing something real quick here. As a matter of fact, I'm, I'm going to check this garage up here and then I'm going to take a break for a little while and go, out, go offline. And I plan on idling, but I think it's getting a little unstable. Let's let the thing rest for a little while. I'll bring it back up in a couple hours. Continue the video. That's the nice thing about videos. It's like you, I can, life can go on. I'm totally honest. Cause I'm really not fond of that game mode. I, mean, I know it makes for great one-spot video stuff when you have really well things, but you know, I don't even know how to do that duck thing real well. You know, it's to practice that. Okay, here we are in the facilite. Some stuff is just gonna be things that can only have in the facility, but here we go. We, 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 we queue up. We got the weaponized Tampa, which is a great car. I like that one. And it does seem to belong in the facility. The original white elephant. My goodness. I do love this car. It's done so much for me, and I can't I can't bear to part with it. Got another Duke of Death. This one, the, the you know, I forget what was it, the the Ook of Death, I believe I called this one. And it seemed like something that you would have in a facility, and I'm I'm not real fond of getting rid of the Ook of Death. The uh, the Granger, this one of the Grangers I, I picked up from like the FBI from one of those things. You know, the FIB when they're chasing you or the whatever the security forces come, probably on one of the blow up three. No, is it blow up three? Yeah, blow up three. I think I gunned them and kept that. I could theoretically get rid of that. I can always get another one of those. It's not that much. Truth be told, I think I'd rather get rid of that than my Duke of Death. My black, uh, you know, Fast and the Furious Duke of Death. So that might be an option. These all live here. There's Beachcomber. Yeah, all those things. And that's all there is. There's not a lot of parking in this thing. It's, it's kind of sad. This seems like it, it fits. I don't know. We'll see what we can do. And now it's time to do the time warp again. All right, now the lighting's not real good in here, of course, but let's ponder the arcade garage. Let's go first person. There's my main main coupe racer, the Zion. One of my again, one of my oldest cars. I'm not getting rid of that. An eight F drafter that I got on sale. I like the I like the drafter. I think it's it's got a lot of pop upside to it. I'm not gonna get rid of this anytime soon. This isn't obviously we're keeping that. Obviously we're keeping that. Tesseract, of course, I mean, it's the only one of the only cars that isn't affected by catch up. If you can get in front, which is a little bit tricky, but still. Very, very Batmobile looking car. Yeah, I like that. I did a whole video on this uh this dink up of the blister before uh, it uh it became completely obsolete by the club. The club has a better top end than that too, so it really is truly obsolete. But I spent a lot of time with it. I like this car. It looks cool. I'm keeping it. Now this is another one I can get rid of. This is just a black felon that I, you know, got from the mystery spin on the wheel, and it really nothing to it. I think that one of the problems with it is if you try to sell these black felons like the other black, you're just throwing them away. There's, you don't get any money for them whatsoever. That's why I hesitated to 
get rid of them. But hey, if they're worthless, I could probably grab one off the street anyway. Probably going to get rid of that. So that's a thing. It's just... Come on. It's too beautiful. Alright. This is the best and fastest SUV that you can use for SUV races. I mean, really, that, that gets the best lap time. It's not as comfy as the Rebla. But we're going to keep it here. Obviously, you got to have a room job. Room job, room job, room job. I might repaint it, though. I mean, the tartan's cool, but it's not its not bright and flashy. I might, I might funk that out a little bit. Okay. Nightclub sub-level for... This is, of course, the Independence Day Special. Keeping that. My original Lowrider Voodoo. Definitely keeping that. This is something that we could get rid of, but it's, it's actually based on a real-world car I saw on a trip to North Carolina. I said, hey, if you're going to have one, keep an umbra. Tricked out. And the thing even, I think it even had the canards, so that's... We're going to keep that for the time being. Obviously, you know, Futos are hard to say goodbye to no matter what. This is a Patriot decked out. And I think this was one originally up in my other uh, my other garage. And this was kind of my aggressive 4x4 kind of build. Patriots. And I could, I could theoretically get rid of it, but I have painted it to match my limo, so why not? Why don't I keep that? Just from an RP kind of kind of role-playing that... Uh, Whatever points those are. Got this for free. Probably, if I get rid of it, it's for free. If I want another one, it's expensive. I never really... I, mean, I did pick the colors for it. Not too much. I might with both of these. Now, this is the, the Lemonade Shark. To go with my, uh, my... My Lemonade character. Which we can... Just to give you an idea. The Lemonade Man. Where are we going? Style... When this came out, when they came out with the lemon head, I did do a lot of like lemon flavored vehicles, so this could be an alter ego kind of thing. The lemonade man. Anything looking more psychotic than that? That's a pretty psychotic. So we have like these kind of lemon vehicles. These two here were free. That's why I have another pair of them in, uh, in different colors than one or the other thing. But again, you get rid of them, you lose just. You, there's no, nothing get, ventured and nothing gained here. And so if you ever want it back, it's a lot of money, so you might as well keep it for right now. I might play with the paint schemes on these if, I, if I'm if i really kind of gone off on the whole lemon thing. But for right now, good enough. As far as we'll leave the lemonade stuff on, it gives it all a lemony color. Um, that's actually kind of annoying. No, 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 I didn't want to get in. No, don't go in. Uh, I didn't want you to get in. Now I've lost my other car. Maybe not, if I just get out. I hit the wrong button. Well, I should be trying to do this and then go style. So that we... Let's go back to Dapper CEO. We go to Visions, doesn't tint everything. No, no, like my, my uh, what you call style there. We didn't drive forward, so we're okay. Uh, this is one of the fastest cars on certain tracks. I take this out to... Uh, oh, what's that one track? I think it's just called Rally. Just crushes everything else. So that's staying. This is a, a crossfire that's actually based on one that my uncle had. This is another personal personal favorite kind of thing here. It's a, a Fulisade. I'm keeping this one just for, you know, memories. And this is, of course, my Devastate, which I get to use a lot on stunt track. So that's not going anywhere. So is there anything here that's going anywhere? I don't think so. You know, this this one's staying the same. I might end up simply getting rid of those couple of free cars at the bare minimum. There might be a couple other cars. I don't see anything going from here. This is my kind of older classics kind of thing. We've got the Joker Mobile over here. A lot of these things I got on sale. We moved one of these over. It's, this is this was actually a shark card purpose purpose purchase shark card purchase. And so we're never gonna get rid of that. Yeah, I could do with only one hustler, but I mean the paint on that's beautiful. 
This is my own homage to the car from uh, the Gotta Get Paid video, which isn't perfect, but it's as close as I can make it. I might be able to do something a little bit better with the tires now that there's more wheel options. I need to put some tuners on it. It might look a little bit better. We're going to come back to that. Yeah, you can see this is in the club livery, so we're going to keep the club livery kind of stuff going. Just built this one up. You gotta love a drag car, especially a hot pink and croup drag car. That's just, you know, very classic, very good looking. It's a good garage decor, even if it's not particularly useful. This is one of my oldest cars, which I believe I upgraded to a custom variant so they go a little bit faster. Let's see what V V10 supercharged. It doesn't pull like it's got a supercharged V10 in it, but it's nice enough. This ended up the same color as this. I might now that I've kind of discovered the the rolled steel and ultra blue paint job. I might upgrade this. I have plans. There are plans that they don't necessarily need to look exactly the same, but yeah, and terrible performers, but you know they, they look nice. This is my Hermes, designed to look like the ones from GTA Vice City. Stay in. And I grabbed, of course, you know, we got this one here. It looks just like the car that you have fell off the back of the truck when you're doing the, the nightclub business battle mission. So why wouldn't I have kept that car? That was always the thing. If you stole the car and you kept it, wouldn't you keep the car? You know, even though it has the, the, the munitions in it. And then it's like, well, you might say to yourself, well, wouldn't that tie you to the theft? No, no, I just picked up the car. It was on sale. And besides that, I'm, I'm pretty brazen, so that's that. And here, of course, we have the undercover garage. Now, this is this was just a free bike I got, and I needed a place to put it. We might move this one out. I have the green nemesis. I haven't really done much with it. I guess some kind of secret operative would be able to use it. Maybe this could be a Tom Cruise reference. Something along those lines. It's going to get a paint job and modifications at some point. But it was, I think, either a real cheap bike or a freebie. Something along those lines. And was just, of course, James Bond. This is just a regular JB700, I believe. I don't think it's the... Uh, we can check it. Yeah, this is this one doesn't have functioning guns. So this is a poser to the party. I do have, I believe, on the, at least on one of the accounts. I think it's on this account. Another fully weaponized JB700W. But I think that was what I was trying to figure out if I could find a way to get the guns to pop in and pop out. But it doesn't look like they do. It's just a matter of they're there or not. Uh, this is, of course, the James May Lotus Esprit, which uh, he used successfully to smuggle his way into Argentina until they found out, hey, there's British people here, and then freaked out. It's got machine guns. It's an obvious Bond reference. Had to have one, especially for the James May kind of thing that's going on. This looks ex almost exactly like the one he drove. Of course, his did have machine guns, although that probably would have been useful with the way things eventually kind of went. But, you know, at least this way no one got killed. So, hey. And, of course, also another James Bond reference. You got a Stromberg that can go underwater. You got Spy Hunter plates on it. Because it does probably the closest thing to the Spy Hunter vehicle as far as functionality is concerned this of course we're talking you know a rapid gt classic which is painted to look like i want to say the aston martin from the living daylights but i could be wrong i'd have to figure out which movie it was another bond reference this is of course sunny crockett's testarossa which of course he was always you know we got the cocaine white you know, just for uh, the Miami Vice reference. That's actually probably, believe it or not, would be my choice for a uh, a classics, uh, a sports classics race. I, it's on the pace of the Turismo Classic. I think it's a little easier to drive, so that might be something that I go with. Now we have two references to uh, Austin Powers, of course. This is the... Uh, the, the Corvette from the sequel, you know, what was what was the name of the girlfriend? They're all really great puns. Anyway, you know what I mean. So we've got we got the, we got the Corvette, and we've got the closest thing we can get to his Jag. And it's a D type instead of an E type, but I mean, you know, so we got Austin Powers all over the place here. Couldn't put a plate on it. 
But the, the plate did have 69 in the in the towel, so I, was, you know, I, cu- I couldn't put the plate that was supposed to go on the car. I could have probably put, put Behave on it or something like that, but it wouldn't let me put Shag uh, on the thing. So because naturally in this game you want you want to be sensitive to words like right, never mind, let's not go there. Now this is a black Porsche. This is an homage to a, a Porsche owned by a friend of mine. We call it Black Beauty. He very much likes James Bondy kind of thing. Does own a Jaguar E Type in addition to the Porsche. He's one of those people who won't even tell you he has a Porsche or a Jag. He's extremely humble, almost to the point of being embarrassed that he has nice things. Um, so I guess in that sense, he's he does keep he does keep things you know hidden close to the vest. He's very secretive about his wonderful things like this Porsche. So I figured that had to go in the spy garage. I think you'd appreciate that. And of course, we have the hateful machine. How could the hateful machine be anywhere but the nightclub? That's just... This is the secret that Bruffy really keeps, is that he actually kept the car he tested back in all those years ago when he was doing car... I tried to I just, I tried to make this look like the one that he used in the car testing, or at least in the style that he normally tested cars, with the... At least an approximation of the Bruffy orange paint. I don't know if it's got enough highlight to it. And the black rims with the, with the off-road tires. The idea is that this is actually what he cruises in when he's going out to the clubs because it's just so cool. And that the whole uh, the whole hateful machine thing is really just a ruse. That's probably not true. He really is. And I know he lost all these cars in the uh, in the great uh, garage debacle if he hadn't gotten rid of it to begin with. So, he probably did. So, may I pick this up off the market? You know, however you want to look at it. You know, hey, this is Ruffy's old car. That's the actual old car. That's no, it's, you know, So none of these things are walking. We're, we're keeping all that. Oh, now we're, we're all the way up here to the terabyte land here. Not terabyte, to the... Uh, all these stay anyway. It's the only thing you can park here. We're up here in the in the the mules and the speedos and the, the transport, the the nightclub sale garage. So we've we've made it through the nightclub. Let's move on. Okay, are we recording now? Yeah, I just did a whole skit on this with without recording it. So that's let's go this way first. We're gonna start over here with the 190Z obvious keeper. Just got that one. This is my golden Zion convert. Not Zion. It's a felon convertible. I keep it because it has TBK in the license plate. That's about the only reason I keep it. It, would, it might have some minor use if I ever in a, a Zion, like a, a race where the Zions are banned, and I can't use my Zion, so I'll use the Felon. But it's go- I painted it gold to make it special, and then that was about that. Again, I think this is another rare item picked up off the street, so I'm just keeping that as it is, just because it's a rare item off the street. This is a stain here from my very early days of playing the game. It's one of the first cars I grabbed. And eh, keep it now. I've always liked the Grand Marquis Panther body, you know, sort of look here. I had a Grand Marquis that we, we rented from my wedding, my wedding reception to the airport. We do have gold Grand Marquis. I might paint this one like a subdued tan or gold somewhere along the line. Although, th- this was this does capture one of my early themes. Was, that was the Black Knight. I would do all the cars black. And they give them a pearlescent, so yeah, I mean, I'll keep it as it is, just for memories. Grab this one off the street as is. It was fitting in with my my main livery colors. I did a lot of Steelers colors on my race cars back in the day before I. Well, a lot of things happened with the Steelers, so I have I got away. I got sick of the colors after a while. Still like the team, but you know, yeah, that's neither here nor there. So it's it a discussion for another time. But this is a this is a keeper. This is, of course, my homage to the armored vehicle that Richard Hammond used in Top Gear to great effect in Johannesburg. Uh, ran out of room in my Top Gear garage, but I didn't want to get rid of it, so here it is. In theory, if I if I was, say, using this as a spawn location, then this could be like the place I've been sleeping, I guess. I don't know. This Futo. I saved this for a reason. It, it got me out of a jam. There was something where I grabbed it off the street and it saved me, and I barely escaped and I've kept it since, and I don't remember why. I don't remember what happened exactly. I never use it. I've got two others. I hate to get rid of it. 
I wish garages would appear if we get more garages, but we don't seem to be able to do that. So, yeah. This might be on the block. This might be on the bubble. might be on the block. I'm not sure what to do with this one. And again, I don't really have a use to in a, in a sports car race for it. In a likelihood. It is one of my oldest cars. I'll probably keep it just for that reason. Sentimentality. Obviously, free click Christmas. Gonna keep that. Tyrant, this is a recent acquisition. Gonna keep that one. So there might be one space we can free up in here. So I, I don't want to get rid of any of my cars, but you know. We're just gonna have to do what we gotta do if we're gonna run. I mean, you need to have some spaces in case you win a car. Um, in case the, there's something that comes up that you actually want. I'm not planning on investing in the slam truck until I, which just came out, until I see a reason for it. I mean, yes, you could use it as a portable jump ramp, but then what are you jumping? You'd have to grab something. Like, you can't keep two cars out at once. Let's go here. Let's look over things. Obviously, we have Herbie. I'm still on the fence whether I want to go with the red, like the Italian stripes and the 35, which is the reverse of the 53 of the Herbie, or go with the American stripes that don't have a number on them. I still don't know what Burger Fazig stands for. Burger Fazig? Burger uh, Fazig? I don't know. I mean, we're keeping this, obviously. Don't know what I'm going to do with it as far as the paint scheme because they're going to make it more Herbie like. I might slam it. Just in case I'm ever using it in a race, because it really does need to have the ridiculous camber to be competitive. But you never know. Now we have a set of, you know, retinues and Sylvester's, and I can't even remember which is which. And these were, I want to say, free for a little while or something. And a couple of them, I think they were in different garages. I'd forgotten that I'd bought one, so I finally just moved everything around. Did them up in different kind of styles and orientations here. I don't even know which one's faster, this Vestra or the Retinue, or the Retinue Mark II. But I like them all. Planning on keeping them all. The original green machine. Finally took the, the logo off the side, but because I think it you know it looks a little bit better with that. And I got the crew um, the crew emblem. Not getting rid of the green machine anytime soon. Love that car. You need a custom Issy. This for the EC maps. This is mine. It's gonna stay. Here we have Darth Vader. Darth. It's an all black flash. It's fast. I don't think it's as fast as the EC Sport is in in rally races. But you know, I'm not ready to part with it just yet. Might do up the tires a little bit now that we have a, a, a little bit more off-road op options. But we'll see. My GB200, which is my Transformer Searchlight homage. That, that's one of the ones that's, uh, that's, that's, that's a, it's a Transformers thing. You'd have to, it's, it's one of the, what did they call them? Were they jump, they weren't jump stars. They were the ones that were the motorized ones that had a very simple transformation. Which are very cool. The same, the same series as Goldbug. Now for the GB200, I might shift to another you know, live action video where I can show you why I have the GB200. That would be a good thing. If not, if I forget about it, well then, here we are. Da, 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 da. And I did not forget. Here's Searchlight. Searchlight is one of the throttle bots, an Autobot from 1987, believe it or not. Back in what we would call the day. Back in the days when, you know, we had to the, the reveal the shield stickers on there. I've rubbed this a couple times here just to make sure it's still working. And there we have it. You know, warm it up and you get to see yeah, what whether this is a good guy or a bad guy. And here it is in Autobot. And I know no, you Decepticon fans say, oh, the Decepticons are really the good guys. We're not having that discussion here, okay? We're, this is 1987. We're not, we're not going to broach that sort of thing here. And I think, even though I'm not left-handed, this is my left hand, I think I could actually transform this guy one-handed for you here. And there you have them. Whoa! Okay, one of the, the features here is it does have a, a, a friction motor in it, so it'll zip along. 
And that was, this was the throttle box. This was one of the, the gimmicks from back in 1987. They would, you could zip it along there. Look at the, uh, little unscrunch. Come on, unscrunch. I do not want to break this. There we go. All right. And slap down. Transform, transform, transform. And we can zip it back here. And there you have it. That's why I keep a white GB200 in my garage. Oh, I forgot about this thing. Yeah, that's a thing. I think I got again, got it on some kind of radical sale. So many of my cars are based on Twitch Prime membership sales where it's like, oh, it's too cheap. You gotta get it. It is an interesting car. Not a great car. Not a great car, but an interesting car. You know, I was thinking about it. Since we're down here, and you can only sell one car every day, in-game day, maybe we better do the deed here. The deed I don't like to do. But we need more parking. Scooby Dooby Doo. Karen Fudo. Say goodbye to the Karen Fudo. It's a great little drift monster that I could trick out with all kinds of paint. But it's really something I don't need because I've already got what I ain't got to getting done. Alright, here we go. Again, there's no real use for this car. It's it's a sentimental favor, but it's better than I, I turn it off. Let's just imagine that it's being, you know, I'm selling it, it's going to go to, to a good home. That's what we're going to do in our mind. In our head cannon. It'll be, a, it'll be another gray Futo that I see out on the road. Hopefully not getting hit by rockets of some nature or blown up by me myself. Now we don't want to... Oh, we got 56000 out of it because we, it's been upgraded. It's all monies. Goodbye, my friend. Thank you for saving me that one time, whenever that was. Let's I need to call up the mechanic now and get the Deluxo back. You know what? Let's not do this here. He'll put it up on that highway or something. Something stupid or one of these overhead. Let's run up and get a car. Because if I call up the mechanic, I'm going to be disappointed anyway. And the garage is right there. Oh, look, a 9F. If, there was, if only this were a G-Fred. We'll give her some a wide berth so she doesn't freak, and then we'll just go up here. What should I take? What do you want to grab? Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Sylvester. Why not? We're zipping down a short way to another bunch of garages. Nice handling car. Wee. I do like these cars. That's the trick about them. I, I, do, I don't want to get rid of anything, but, you know. That last one, that was kind of one that I probably had some kind of plan for at some point, but now I just need an extra park. That's the only parking space I have right now. Except for me, one of the special parking spaces for tanks and stuff in here. Workshop level.
You zip in a little first person. Do 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 do. If we're gonna do a tour, we might as well include the whole tour. There you go. Now, I'm pretty certain that this level is all special vehicles. Nothing, nothing here. The, the investment is too huge. None of this is going anywhere. Like the Lotus V8 here, that's the, the, the sci-fi version. All kind of lemon homages and stuff like that. They're not going anywhere. Those getting a lot of videos. You got to have a Sterling. If it had a proper, if it had the proper livery for it, then you know there would numbers on the side. It would look like a a model car that I had in my youth. Z-Type. I'm tempted to give this a fancier paint job, but that's really kind of how Z-Types often work, so that seems to work. This is still waiting for me to unlock lime green metallic paint with two more stunts. The recently upgraded club. The Baza Mobile. The Baza Special. The Baza, you know, not the Baza Gaza. Baza, there was a guy new named Baza. He would appreciate this. That's all I'm going to say for right now. It's cute. You can't race it, but it's cute. And of course we have these, so they're not going anywhere. And I don't see, like I said, except for the big stuff, there's no, no parking available, so we move on to B2. We didn't do anything with this yet, did we? But on the other hand, if I'm going to race in a Formula One, unless it's a really wide open track, don't need to quite do anything with it. We'll, we'll get tricked out at some point. This one is ready to roll, he thinks. So, have to check the wings on. This was a recent freebie that's staying. Obviously staying. Again, these are some more recent cars. I, mean, I got this on a deal, and I do like the night chart. And here it is in a bumblebee kind of thing. We, we're, we're going with that. Again, on sale. Italian GTB. I'm still trying to figure out why Bruffy is so in love with this car. I mean, it looks, yeah, but that's why I gave it kind of a Bruffy esque paint. But. I think that's a wheel spin win. Fairly certain that's a wheel spin win. I keep all those because luckiness. This one is very similar to a matchbox I had as a kid, so I'm keeping that one, that Vigero. This is my main sports racer. That's not going anywhere. Still have to do something with this other than making it like an homage to OJ Simpson, but we're gonna try and we're gonna do something fancy dancy with that at some point. But it is fully upgraded, not that I'd ever really race it unless there was some very specific situation. And here it is, here's my unweaponized weaponized JB seven hundred W. So the weaponized ones doesn't have the guns added. The one that the guns don't work on, they are added. The nice thing about this is it does have oil slick. So I'm so still going to try and figure out if I could find a way to get the guns added where they're still hidden, but no, it doesn't look, it looks like I'm going to have to eventually just add guns. There's nothing, there's nothing to get rid of here, and there's nowhere to park. So what are we taking out of here? I think probably one of the specials. Let's, I'm not going to take the Sylvester out. Let's go back to the workshop level. What do we want? We can have that. You know what? Let's take the Lotus Special here. I dig the black and gold. Oh no, don't get it. I hit the wrong button. I was looking for the view. I change view. I have to get out to change you. Yeah, the, the thing to change view. There we go. Spinning blades and all. We only have two more garages left to check out, and they're not far. Turbo. It's interesting if you do the kind of futuristic one, you don't get the zoomy pipes. But it works just as well.
Ah, Gerg, I have back. Okay, he didn't really want to line up for that jump, so we're not going to do it. Uh, the handling leaves a little something to be desired. That would be really quite daunting if you saw a car driving around with all these blades sticking out of it. Yeah, that would... Oh, that's right. This is closed. We can't get out of there. To kind of go around. Okay, there we go. Oh! Yeah, that's... I missed the turn. Alright, that's okay. We can plow through this. We'll block, uh... Rusty Jack's nightclub parking. He doesn't need it at the moment anyway. All right, here we are again. Now here we have, you have English Dave's car, which the only modifications I made other than the all the, the standard tur add the turbo, increase the engine, slam the suspension so that it can handle at maximum capability, and add a spoiler. Other, other than that, I left it as he gave it to me. So that's that's that bug there. This one it's fully upgraded, but I'm gonna change the paint job around a little bit. I'm not quite sure what, but for right now we're just we have this you know, we finally got an ETR one. It's one been on my list of things they have for a long time. What's something's flicking in and out here. Alright. The pariah. Oh, you know what? Does the pariah does the pariah spoiler bug even affects you in the garages? Look at that. You get this graphic kind of thing that happens. Obviously, I'm not getting rid of my pariah. Because it's a pariah. Seriously. Yeah, this was when I first came up with that, that neon tetra paint job with the crew over chrome with the red highlights. So it looks like a neon tetra. Um, Wagner. Not getting rid of the Wagner. The Wagner's a classic. You gotta love the Wagner. You gotta love the Wagner. You gotta love the Wagner. Okay, that's a... My RE7B, we've been through too much together. And every once in a while, I will still pull this out, especially for Vespucci. It seems like a track it was designed for. I think the jumps are easier to to deal with in, in this car for some reason. It seems like it's, it's designed for it. Not the original one, which would be launched, you know, be doing 180 miles an hour and go flying. But uh, this one seems like it, it works pretty well there. It's off to watch. Vespucci is a troll track. But I could... I mean, technically speaking, I don't really have a, a use for this, but it is a four-door muscle car, so why not have a four? The only four-door muscle car just to look cool. I always, I did always like you know the cars it was based from, so let's let's keep that. Gotta have my uh, hot ring saber because I do like doing hot ring races. The piss Vosser dominator. I hardly ever race it, but I mean, it is de rigueur if I ever end up on a. A Bruffy 1322 string stream to bring the root beer special because you know Piss Vosser is a beer. But I changed the colors so that it would look like root beer. I love me some root beer. I guess it'd be a little darker, it'd be cola, but it's root beer. Root beer. The Burger Shot. I like that car. I could get rid of me. It's always free. You can always get it back. I mean, but, you know, it, is, it does look awfully cool. Burger Shot Stallion. Bleeding tasty because the burgers are undercooked. You know, that's just... Do I need this? No. There's, there's very such a little situations where this is going to come up as opposed to other cars, probably. But, I mean... Just look at it. How could you... How could you not? I mean, you know... Somewhere along the line, I'm going to be in a race, and maybe you'll say, oh, yeah, we're going to do Tier B sports cars. And it'll be a little bit windy, and I'm going to take this one, and I'm going to clean up. But we're going to leave that. Let's get out of here. And go to the Lost Garage, where we can see what other things we can get rid of. Right now, again, I only have one parking space. One free parking space. It's a little limiting. I have spent a lot of money. You're gonna go boing! Boing, 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 boing. Landed it! Drove away. Nice. I gave him some, some extra excitement today. Ah, ah. It's a little, oh dear. Boing! Ying, ying, 
boom! Does he land it? No. Does anyone get out? I don't think so. I don't think that worked out well for them. Are you in there? Are they dead or are they still driving? Ah, not dead. They're, they're at least taking a nap, so. Okay, let me see if I can at least roll your car over for you, good sir. I, I didn't mean to flip you that hard. We'll just. If I go at this angle. Ping! Oh, I rolled over again. Just ping! There you go. Well, let's let's get him out of the car before it explodes. Yeah, get this guy out of his car. Get me out of his car. Ah. Okay, we should drive his car away from him. No, that ain't gonna work. We can't move him. We need to get his car away from him. Maybe he can be revived, but not if he's been burned to a crisp. Move this car! Now it's not popping. It's just... I can't pop it? What the heck? Up into my spinneroo kind of capability. Is it because it's fully damaged I can't launch it anymore? Oh, there you go. Oh, dear. Now the police are coming. I uh, leave a few mines here. That should stop them. They shouldn't be approaching. They are. I just want to go. What kind of? It's an EMP. Oh, we can have some fun with this. And then go kapush, boing. Let's see, can we lose them? I mean, they can't stop us. Alright. Do I be that way? Here we go. That's could be. I could jump myself up to the roof. I have to get free them enough to it'll let me in the garage. That's, that says that's a cop. Did a cop take the darn somebody's car? Goomba Stomp! Boom! Alright, you know, we might just end up calling Lester at some point. Why are there cops coming at me in SUVs? Why does my door keep open, you know? Lose that door. Oh, 
Whoa, what did I hit? I didn't hit the button. Okay. This might have been a good enough set of moves. There we go. So let's get back to where we needed to be. Review the last garage. It's a violent garage review, but hey, it is what it is. We kept the police busy for a little while. <laughs> All right, so here we have the ultra rare uh, bodiless rail that you can only get if you can get to spawn in a certain place with another buggy that we already showed you with the orange panels up in. Yeah, let's stay. All right. Now, this one. Yeah, this is an XS. This is a Sentinel XS. And I really thought this would have to be the premier racer for a while. And it's not. Not, not even really. I guess it might be close. It ends up just looking cool. And right now I'm just keeping it because, again, it was in that era of the very early days of the, the pearlescence over black. Sentimental favorite. We're keeping that. This is a stratum. you got to have at least one stratum. If you can have it with a funky glitch paint job, why not? So we're going to have this stratum here. These two were freebies. I could probably get rid of them because they were freebies. And I already have, you know, a night shark. And, you know, but they, I, I do like the look. I do like what I've done with them. I don't feel like getting rid of them. Plus, I'm really, really, really pressed. And so they're going to stay. This I could get rid of. This is a pink pre that I figured I'd keep in reserve if, if ever, someday, I got myself on the fail race channel and I got to be one of the hunters, I'd have my pink pre ready so that I could be a hunter. Eh, that's probably not going to But it's a fun thing to think of and, and to, to think, hey, maybe someday that could happen. It probably can't, but, I mean, still. You know, man can dream. These two, these two issies. As I recall, one I, I, I either stole and then built up and that was going to be my main issy. That was my main SC compact. The other one, I think I, I completed a few stunts uh, with. I decided to keep that stock, you know, upgraded the stock. Is it even insured? Let's see, is it insured? Yeah, they're insured. Noweenies. Do I need either of them? No. Do I want to get rid of either of them? No. Now, this Vulcan Warner, the reason I have this one is I actually have a matchbox that looks just like it. Very well, very similar. Probably a little lighter shade of silver, really. Which is, I think as I got it, that does have custom exhaust, so there have been some tweaks. But again, not much to get rid of here. Oh, and then this, but this puppy, yeah, that was, that was on either. I think I won that one. That might have been a winner. I might have gotten on sale, but there's something to it. There's reasons. So nothing to get rid of here, really. I mean, I could get rid of some of the stuff, but it's not like there's a need for it. But ugh, and the weather's gonna help. There is a want. Really, it's a video game. Isn't it really all just about what do you want? What do y'all want? So there you have it. There's a probably get rid of those those freebie black cars. That'll give me up a you know, get me a little bit of space. And um not much. Rockstar, I need more garage space. Could could you do something? Pronto. Stat. I know, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night. Okay, expect law enforcement to get in the way on this sale, but hopefully the phantom wedge we're lending you will get them out of it. Stick to the route, stop for nothing, make the drive.
Looks like you sold out. To the right people, too. Only the good war is being fought with those guns. Promise.
recording, now we're recording, and now we're recording. Uh, so, his story on this. Spun the wheel, landed on, I think, mystery. Got a black felon. Why you'd want a black felon, I don't know. Already got a gold one. With TVK on the license plate, so if I'm gonna get rid of one, even if the other one will give me a little bit of money, then we got a lot of money involved in these. So I'm gonna get rid of the freebie. The good news is I don't think I have to worry about banging it up on the way there because it's free. I could get anything from it, but I need I'm out of parking. I got like one parking space now that I sold. The mystery gray Futo that I saved for some specific reason. What's wrong with her now? So, worth nothing. Yep, get rid of it. Destroy it. It was a freebie. Now it's gone. I'm thinking. You sell a car for nothing. That shouldn't count against your. I've already got the Death Red Buffalo, so I don't need this one. Alright, it doesn't count, so you can get rid of the two vehicles at once that are worthless. Ba bang! Damn! 